Let's transform this desert into a different planet using Adobe Photoshop's generative fill and after effects. Let's dive into it. Adobe Photoshop's new generative fill feature allows you to do so much like transform your sets, add different elements to images and videos. So with the help of After Effects, I'm going to show you how to transform your videos using Photoshop's generative fill. All right, so let's start off in After Effects. I have my clip and my composition. I'm going to tweak the sky color to make it less saturated. So I'll use change to color. I drop select my sky. So from here, I'll actually tweak the change drop down to hue and saturation, and then I'll tweak the hue a bit. So from here, I'll import my clean plate frame into Photoshop and I'll select composition, save frame as Photoshop layers and save it. So now jumping into Photoshop beta, I'll select my mountainous area here on camera right, and I'll press the generative fill button and I'll type in space ground and see what it comes back with. Okay, so I'll pick the second option here. Now I'll select the top portion of my sky, press generative fill, and I'll type in outer space sky. Not exactly what I'm looking for. So I'll tweak the prompt to dark space sky. That's better, I'll pick this one. So you might have to tweak the wording a little bit depending on what you're looking for. So now I'll select a lower camera right portion and I'll type in NASA Base Camp. I'll pick this one for now. And I'll pick a portion of camera left, type in NASA Rover. Okay, that's nice. So now I'll select a portion back here and I'll type in Space Shuttle. And I'll pick this one. So now I'm gonna make this moon larger. So what I'll do is I'll select a portion where I want the moon and I'll type in Large Moon. And there we go, I'll choose one of these. So I'm gonna jump to a different frame with the astronaut actually in the frame. So I actually need to tweak a couple of things. So first off, the size reference is a bit off compared to the astronaut. So I'm gonna make sure my base station is selected and I'm gonna select a larger portion here and I'm gonna type in the same prompt. Okay, a few different results, but this one looks real good. So now I'll move this rover a little bit. So I'm gonna delete this layer and I'm gonna select a different portion and I'm gonna type NASA rover. Again, different results as the other one, but I'll pick one of these. So now I moved this rover so I didn't have to rotoscope the astronaut when he crosses over. But if you want to learn more about rotoscoping, check out one of my many rotoscoping tutorials on my channel. So before I dive back into After Effects, if you guys are liking this video and finding it helpful, make sure you hit that like button so it can spread to more post-production people like you. So now I'm in After Effects and I have my shot overlaid with my Photoshop layers. And I'll do the same change to color effect to my video layer that I did earlier. So here I'll keyframe and animate my mask around my astronaut so it blends in with the Photoshop layer. Okay, that looks pretty good. Jumping backwards, I'm gonna move the mask up a little bit here. Okay, looking pretty good. I'm gonna make sure I have it feathered. So now to take it a little bit further, I'll add some dust. This is just a stock clip that I found. So I'm gonna grab this into my comp. I'm gonna scale it a bit and I'm gonna lower the opacity. That's gonna add a little bit of motion and dynamics to my video. That looks really good. So from there, you can kind of add different video elements to make the scene kind of come to life. Like here, I added a blinking light on this tower here 
and I gave a slight motion rotation to this satellite dish to kind of bring these elements to life and blend them into the scene a little bit more. So the generative fill feature from Photoshop is still in beta, but there's tons of different possibilities, not only with stills, but with video too. So with the help of After Effects, you can add different life to your videos or your scenes. So if you guys are interested, you could check out my other videos using generative fill for video. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. See you next time.